So this is a thermal printer and I have it set up so that anytime someone donates or subs to me on my Twitch stream, it prints out these tiny little paper receipts. You know how every streamer uses something like stream elements for their alerts, or maybe they're using Streamlabs with the default walking zombie animation. Yeah, this is pretty much the same thing, except way more expensive and impractical. So I'm gonna show you guys how to set up your own sub alert printer and the software to do it is completely free. I actually already did a video a couple years ago on how to set up a sub printer, but that was using some outdated software that doesn't even work anymore. This new version is way better. It's got way better fonts. It shows the profile picture of the person that subs to you and it just looks way nicer overall. Plus there's some fun new variations that your chat can play with. There's a mode to print out your fortune. You can print out pictures of random cats. There's even a mode to print out a picture of your future waifu. Yep, these are gonna look great in my collection. It's been a while, I've been gone for a bit. I've just, um, I've just been out looking for my eyebrows. Yeah, I still haven't found them yet. Let me know if you guys find them. I've just had extreme eczema for the past two months and it's been miserable. I've just felt terrible. That's why I'm wearing this sleeve. That's why my face is all you know, effed up. I don't want to swear because then this video will get demonetized and I kind of need the money because all the medical bills are piling up. Skillshare. Yeah, I haven't filmed this part of the video yet. Why do you tell them all about it, future nutty? Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes to help you create better content. Because there's always a skill out there that you can get better at, from editing to using your camera properly to lighting. My problem is organization. Trying to keep up with YouTube, Twitch, Patreon, TikTok, this gets really confusing after a while. So I've been using a program called Notion to organize all my YouTube videos. The good thing is Skillshare has a Notion masterclass by Ali Abdel that shows you how to set up your Notion page to plan out all your YouTube videos. Ali has a massive YouTube channel himself, so everything you learn is really applicable to use a content creator. In fact, I actually set up my own Notion page for my Twitch channel so you can see all of the different ideas I have and I can see which ones are just ideas. These are the ones that are currently in progress. And then I can see all the ideas that I've already completed. And it's just, it's just really useful. So if you're interested in creating a page just like this for your YouTube channel, you can take the same Notion Masterclass for free in the link down below. And that will also give you unlimited access to all of Skillshare's classes for one month. Okay, so before we get into the software, let's talk about which printer you need to get because technically the software I'm gonna show you will work with any printer. Like if Windows can see the printer, you can use this sub printer software. But if you use a standard inkjet printer, it's just a colossal waste of paper and a waste of ink. You don't wanna do that, okay? What you want is something like this. This is a thermal printer. It's the same kind of printer that you see every time you go to the grocery store and you pay for your food. And this prints way faster, but more importantly, this doesn't use any ink. It uses heat. That's why it's called the thermal printer. I'll leave a link to the exact printer that I use, as well as a bunch of other printers that should work with the printer software. But pretty much you can just go on Amazon and search for ESC slash POS printer. And anything that has those words should work. I don't know what ESC slash POS means. I know POS is point of sales, I don't know what the, yeah. anyway, I'm not gonna pretend like I know, just as long as it says that, it should work. Okay, now onto the fun part, the software. So once you have yourself a printer, you're going to need two things. So the first thing you'll need is StreamerBot. We've talked about StreamerBot a lot on this channel. If you have no idea what that is, don't worry. We're gonna set it up from scratch, so you don't need to, you don't need to watch any of my other videos, but I'm gonna link it up here anyway, because it'd be cool if you watch them. And the second thing you'll need is the actual printer code itself. Now, I didn't write the code, so before you guys go in the comments and start sucking my dick like I did something, I didn't write this code, okay? So don't give me any praise. It was all DJ Tio's work. DJ Tio's the guy who programs all the cool stuff for the Sushi Dragon. Rise and shine. Anyway, the printer code is uploaded to DJTO's coffee page. So if you click in the link in the description box, it'll take you to where you can download the code. Now it's going to ask you if you wanna pay money. You don't have to pay money. You can just type in $0 and then just download it. But uh, if you wanna support DJTO and give him some money for you know, making this code, you can, you can toss him like a million dollars. So we're gonna set up the printer now. If you don't have StreamerBot already installed, just the link is down below. 
Just click in it, download it, and then unzip it wherever you want on your computer. And then download the printer code from the second link down below and then unzip that file. The zip file is gonna contain two things. You'll have a folder called TO Tools and then a second thing, which is just a text file. So you're gonna take that folder and then put it into the root of your streamer bot directory. So just open up your streamer bot folder and just straight drag and drop that TO tools folder right into that. Then you can go ahead and open up streamer bot. And if you've never used streamer bot before, that's okay, but you're going to have to connect your Twitch account so that every time you sub, your printer knows that it needs to print something. So just go into platforms, Twitch, accounts and then you can connect your account here. Next we need to import the printer code into StreamerBot. So click in the button that says import and remember that second text file inside of the printer code zip file? You want to take that text file and drag that into the box that says import string. And if that doesn't work then just open up the text file and just copy that huge string and put that into the text box. Click import and then go into the actions tab and you should see all these different actions that say SP and SPA next to them. If you don't see those actions, then, then you did it wrong, okay? So go back and watch the video again. By the way, I hope that you did it wrong because then I get extra watch time for you watching the video, which would be pretty sweet. Next, we need to tell StreamerBot the name of our printer so it knows the printer to print to. So if you don't know the name of it, then go into settings, search for a printer. I don't know exactly where it is, you can figure it out, but search for where it lists all the different printers you have and look for your thermal printer and copy the name exactly. Then back in StreamerBot, you see this part that says config goes here. If you click on that, the right hand side should have three things and the middle one should say printer name. Right click that and edit it. And in that second text box, paste the name of your printer and make sure it's exact Otherwise you're gonna have a bad time, okay? But you're pretty much done at this point. You just have to tell StreamerBot when you want to print out a receipt. So for example, do you want it to print out every time you get a follow, every time someone subs to you, or every time someone cheers or give you bits? So in the case that you want to print out a receipt every time someone follows you, then go into the tab that says platform, Twitch, events, and then under general, you see how it says follows and there's a button? Click that button and then select SP print Twitch events default. And now anytime someone follows you, it's gonna print out a tiny little receipt. And if you wanna test that, just click the little test button under where it says follow. And then you can pretty much just do the same thing for all the other events. So cheers, subs, resubs, gifted subs, and gift bombs. Same thing, just make sure that you select the one that says print Twitch events default. The code also works with donations through Stream Elements and Streamlabs. So just click on integrations and there's two tabs, one for Stream Elements and one for Streamlabs. You gotta make sure that your account is connected to either one of them. So go into the settings tab for that and then it tells you how to connect it. Just follow that. Then go back into the events tab and underneath donations generic, click that button. And instead of using the print Twitch events default, just use Streamlabs tip printer or Stream Elements tip printer, whichever platform that you're using. But that's pretty much it. Your printer code should now be working. Now, optionally, if you wanna make it more fun, you could print out a face for your printer. Maybe put googly eyes, get creative. So I got a few options here. We've got Uma Thermal. We got Bill Printon and Payperga. What do you guys think? Yeah, Uma Thermal, Bill Printon. I'm gonna go with Uma Thermal. Now I did say that there were some fun variations for like printing out your fortune or pictures of random cats in the waifu printer thing. Well, those variations are here under streamer printer add-ons. So you can see fortune cookie, lotto numbers, print a waifu. So instead of selecting print Twitch events default, you can use any of these extra variations. So what I did was I created a new channel point reward inside the channel point reward section. And for the action, I used one of these add-ons. So for example, I used the fortune cookie add-on. So people can print out their fortune without having to spend money. They can just use the Twitch channel points feature and it will read out their fortune. Uh, if you guys use a thousand channel points, this happens. Z Zishio, your fortune is. Old friends make best friends. That's not even a fortune. Anyway, uh, there's that. Can you guys chill out? What is the matter with you? <laughs> but I didn't stop there. One of my viewers decided to 3D print a 
magnetic fortune cookie. So when someone prints out their fortune, I quickly stuff it inside of this gigantic fortune cookie. And then I crack it open on stream and pull out the fortune. It's so cool. It's not fun. Anyway, I thought that was cool. Anyway, just play around with the variations, especially, I know you guys are gonna like the Printo Waifu one. I know that's gonna be pretty popular. It's just, uh, I'm personally not gonna use them because to be honest, I kinda don't know how old these, you know? Let's not, let's not go there, okay? Yeah, uh, so yeah, anyway, that's the sub printer. Guys, let me know in the comments down below if that worked for you, and if it didn't work for you, then uh, good news, because I just did a massive overhaul of the Discord, and there's now a dedicated support channel. So if you have any questions about how to set up the printer or anything to do with setting up your stream, you can just go into that channel and then make a new post with your question, and then hopefully some cool person, um, or maybe me, I don't know, we'll try to help you with whatever, whatever question you have. Also, I'm on Patreon now, so I've been releasing some of my own custom-made widgets and tools. So if you've ever seen something on my Twitch stream and you're like, cool, I wonder if I could get that for my stream. Uh, maybe it's on Patreon, you can check it out there. Also, I'm on Twitch, but you, should, you probably know that by now. Anyway, um, cool, I'll see you guys um, whenever I decide to make another video.